Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to today's session, How to Scalp and Day Trade Your Way to Financial Freedom, Episode 10. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a number of trade examples where you're utilizing the power of EMAs. And we'll look at a couple of trade examples or setup examples out of an excellent book called The Playbook. And so as we get underway, I do have to put up the disclaimer, there is a risk in trading, don't trade with rent money. Uh, please feel free to pause the recording, of course, to read the disclaimer. Now, if already you're not a member of the Day Traders Fast Track program, uh, or you haven't requested the truth about day trading, one of my free eBooks, please visit my website uh, to register for a free copy. Even better still, become a member. Now it's your time to succeed as a scalper and day trader. For $197, you receive 12 plus of the world's best day swing and scalping trading strategies. There are literally over, well, now it's actually over 300 hours of online video instructions, dozens of handouts, etc., etc., free indicators. There's no upsell unless you come to me and you request some of my personal coaching, but otherwise it's all contained in my program for $197. And as I say to all my members and to the general public, save the money for your trading account. So let's get into this. Now, as you know, you can scalp and day trade just about any market. And there's a very fine line between scalping and day, day trading. It really comes down to that it really is about the time. Whether you're in and out a lot quicker, sometimes we might start off with a scalp and remain in there maybe for an hour, but generally we're in and out within a few minutes. Whether you're trading the ES, the Micros, the NQ, YMCL, Stocks, Forex, it really doesn't matter. So what, what I show you now is applicable to all markets. Now, I just want to give you some examples today on the ES. Now, in my coaching room, we talk a lot about this five by five, yes I can, or five by four in the case of ES, yes I can. When I said five by five, that's on oil. <laughs> five $50 tick trades is $200 because when you start netting 200 a day per contract, you start to do really well. Now we've got a number of key setups and I'll actually show you a couple of these today very quickly. So we've got our scalps. We we'll, might be in for four ticks, Sometimes we'll go for just three ticks. Then we've got what we call our two Bs, where we get uh, three by six, yes I can, on the ES. That is where you'll go for a larger target. Now, once again, I'll give you a couple of examples, but what we really want to focus on is this concept of scalping. You see, you'll see regularly that the ES moving in four to six tick moves, day in, day out. So if you're a scalper, with a very high probability trading strategy, you can do really well scalping the market. What you'll generally find you'll do is you'll have a combination of things there. So you'll trade a number of setups. Now, I do have to say this. One of the greatest challenges that traders face today is becoming overwhelmed. Uh, they suffer from what we call decision fatigue, where they've got too many decisions, too many setups. So what you do, you start off with just a couple of setups and you build from there. You master those. Once you own those, then you add others. Now, the setups that I want to show you today, uh, particularly the one that comes out of a playbook, these are two excellent books by Mike Garbellafori. And he's the uh, CEO, one of the partners at SMB Capital out of New York. One Good Trade is really talking more about his trade. It's still an excellent book. There's some real words of wisdom in there. And then there's his playbook, which uh, I believe that every trader should invest in. Now, with most of his traders, because they're prop traders, they're uh, mainly, mainly day traders and scalpers, okay? He talks a lot about that in the book. And what he points out here is that many of his successful traders are profitable 80 to 90 percent of the days and some are consistently above 95 percent. Now how can a professional trader have such a high win rate? Well as he says in the book there are three basic reasons for such a high success rate. One they develop a skill over time that allows them to get in and out of stocks or futures 
or Forex, whatever your market is, they develop pattern recognition. Let me say that again, sorry. These are all my videos, as you know, are all real and unedited. There's no script. They develop pattern recognition skills that enable them to accurately assess their risk versus reward. Now, the patterns that we see repeat, and that's something that's amazing about the market. Like with our patterns, we see them repeat day in, day out. And of course, they're in the right stocks. They're in, or for us, in the right markets. Now, let me show you these patterns that they talk about. Now, in his books, and actually in some of his videos, he talks about some of his top traders. He's got Iceman, he's got uh, G-Man, he's got a lot of, uh, and I just absolutely love the name of some of his traders. But this is G-Man's favorite setup. Now, G-Man is a million dollar plus trader. So he earns the big bucks. And this is one of his favorite setups. And when you look at this, and as Gan famously said, there's nothing new under the sun. And when it comes to setup traders, and I've been doing this for over 26 years now, it's true. And if you look at this here, he's simply waiting for a retracement in a trendy market or a pullback. He then has his stop just above the little swing high here. There's his entry. His first target is to take out this swing low. And he will trail his second lot of contracts. The reverse is true to go long. You'll see it have a good trend. He'll have a retracement. Uh, is, um, uh, we'll see, this is what we call, by the way, a trend continuation. What, and, and I think this is very important. A lot of traders, they're more breakout traders. It is they'll wait for this high to be, to, to have a breakout here. But you can give back a lot of profit in that meantime. And quite often, you'll even see some of these moves will form a double top. But you could have made some really good money there. So you want to be, if you're a scalper, and a day trader, you really want to be trading trend continuation trades. So here, once again, his first um, target is up here, and he'll look for uh, a break of a trend line. Now, how could we do this better? Oops, one more slide before I show you that. Now, what if this fails? That is, he takes off, um, uh, he enters this trade, and it fails, you get a deeper pullback. This is actually his favorite setup. Because as it points out, from his entry here to there, it's a greater distance. So therefore, his risk is a lot lower for a greater reward. Now, he generally will trade only twice with these setups. As he points out, sometimes Iceman will actually, or sorry, G-Man in this case, breaks his rules and he'll take a third trade. But generally speaking, he'll attempt to take this trade twice. Now, uh, to go long, if this trade fails, he waits for a deeper pullback. Uh, then he's aiming to take out this high. This is his first target. So what I'd like to do is just go to the charts and give you some examples directly on the charts. Now, what we're looking at here is the ES. Now, I mentioned the 5x4, yes I can. 5x6, yes I can. Well, if we look at this, this is a Renko chart. Now we will look at a tick chart as well, and it doesn't matter in the end what your chart preference is. I love the combination of Renko and tick together. That is, I've got multiple screens, because quite often on Renko, it's beautiful for smoothing out price action, but we can miss out on some valuable information that um, tick will give us. Okay, so this is a two tick Renko. If the market is slow enough, we'll I'll, well, I'll drop down to a one tick Renko. Now, let me just quickly show you this. Now, this is a one tick Renko here. But of course, when the market really takes off, it's very, very difficult to uh, trade these unless you know what you're looking for. When you get these deeper pullbacks, what you can actually do is put in a buy stop order in and take advantage of these deeper pullbacks because you can be pulling your order back until finally you get filled. But that's a bit beyond today's video. But let's go back to the two tick Renko. Now remember on the slide that I showed you where, and let's just go back to it for a moment. So remember here it shows that we're waiting for a pullback. Well, by waiting for a pullback to a major EMA, what it does, it just gives you more confidence 
in the move. For an example, if you go and take, say, a 34 or an 89 or a 200 EMA, they're very, very powerful EMA pullbacks. So if we go back to this chart here, we can see we've got to pull back to our 34, then back to our 89. Now remember that diagram where, he sh where I showed you the second lot where he had one fail and then the second one took off? Well, here's a good example. And this is just uh, a random one out of today's price action. So we had a uh, nice little winner there. We had one there. We had one there. Uh, you had a failure. Now, that there, traders, is a little ABC setup. And ABC setups work brilliantly for scalping and day trading. Now, what is very important is that you understand that at times, and this is the floor pivot, by the way, this is what we call a midline pivot, which is very strong. Now, these retracements, you in the end, you start to believe and understand the power of these EMAs. So we can see we're bouncing, 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 a retracement, a failure, and there's a reason why that failed. I won't go into that now, but there's a this is a higher probability failure point. And we call that a 2BD. Uh, it's after some divergence. But then we've got here another 2B and another 2B. Now this little white paint guy, if you're wondering, this actually plots after the second. As soon as I get an uptick on the third candle, that's when my super scalper plots. And if you're wondering, uh, it's included in the Day Traders Fast Track program. And uh, I've got it for Ninja Trader 7 and 8 trade station and I have versions for MT4 and think or swim but in the end it's a simple pattern so if you've got a trading platform that uh, I don't have the indicator for once you understand how the how it plots uh, your your riders rain now you had actually a very clear entry there and we had one back here now oh and actually you had another one little ABC right there Oh, see, we go. We just keep going back because you actually had multiple entries here, all successful trades right along here. Now, each one of these tick is worth one tick or 1250. So uh, you romped uh, your four or five ticks in there, four or five ticks there. You actually had a loss, a winner, a winner, a winner, a winner. And what I want to point out is this that when we look at the strategy of how G-Man trades, it's been around for many, many years. And some even call this the old floor trader strategy. Now, let's have a look at tick charts. If you love your tick charts, and I understand um, <laughs> why many traders do, here we've got the 550 tick. Now, it's not a round, it's not a fib number. If you want to round it off at fib numbers, uh, you jump up to a 610. Tick, but I've been using a 550 for many, many years, and it's just one of my favorites. Now, what you do want to utilize traders, very important, is that when you're trading, you want to have your anchor charts set up. It's very important that we be trading in the direction of a higher time frame. And there's actually specific formulas in, in that that we use to uh, set up our anchor charts. So here we've got tick charts and on the other one we had our rent code. Now what is also very important for me, when I have uh, a tick chart or I'm using the tick chart for entries, I want to make sure that I've got one of my oscillators also confirming the move. I'm not so worried about that with Renko because in a way Renko itself is a trading system or strategy within its own. Okay, You've got nice smooth price action etc. And by the way if you're wondering if you had have got out there with your six ticks, see the tails, see that tail there, this tail just here, that tail there. You can also trade the tails on Renko. And unfortunately, see that there for that short? A lot of traders don't do that. And they miss out on some really valuable trades. So in scalping, getting back to how G-Man trades. Let's go back to this PowerPoint. Where is it? Here it is here. Simply, we're waiting for a retracement to one of our major EMAs. And what it does, it just gives us a lot more confidence in the move. If you're using tick charts or even 
uh, say volume or even a time-based chart, which works exactly the same. Um, I, I'm just not a big fan of time-based charts just because I think large candles are evil. But yes, you, of course, you, we've got members that um, are in my coaching room that uh, trade 20 second and 30 second uh, candles. They love their time-based charts. But the same thing, you're waiting for a pullback. Okay, doesn't matter what type of chart. Now, where you had that failure, Okay, that was our 34. This is the bounce you get on the 89. So traders, in the next episode, I'm actually going to be covering and um, talking more about the types of trading conditions in episode 11. Now, as we close off, it's very, very important traders. Now, perhaps I should have said this at the start of today's session, but just remember, just that one idea. And this is a journey. Uh, and here I am in my boardroom here, that what most traders take, they go out there and buy every system or strategy under the sun. This is what I do for you. I have thousands of members around the world. I'm a strategy hacker, I'm a modeler. And what a modeler does, he finds people that do something really well, determines how they do it, and then I reverse engineer it. And is there something new? And in, for, really, I can't remember the last time I found something that was truly unique. That is, the best trading systems and strategies are some of the simplest. They really are. So, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Better still, visit my website. You can drop me an email. For $197, you get uh, basically a massive, and as some of my members will tell you, my program is a gold mine. It's the most comprehensive program in the world today. When you see the size of it, you'll understand. So thank you, traders. Uh, episode 11 will be out in a few days' time. Thank you.